Greetings! It is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to help you give that A in your coursework. And today I'm here with Array Lists Part 2. So if you haven't watched Part 1, be sure to click the I up there, as it is essential for this tutorial, because I am assuming you know what we covered in the first tutorial, as I'm building up from that. So let's get right into it. So today we're going to be doing removing an element of an array and changing or editing a current element of an array to have a different value. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we're going to print... Oh my god, I've got the type. System.out.println al.get1 I can't even click today, I'm so sorry. Basically, with this, we're just going to be getting the element of the array with the index of 1, which in this case will be duck. I also like to say, here I have created my array list, and here I've assigned a few values to the array list. Now I want to do al.remove1. So we're going to be removing the element of the array with the index of 1. Then we're going to do system.out.println al.get1. Then we'll do al.set1 diddle. Then I'm going to do system.out.println al.get1. And I just put in another bracket. So what happens? Basically, when we remove an element from an array list, Every element after the element we remove will move back one. So currently we have the indexes of 0, 1, 2, and 3. When we delete duck, we're only going to have the element indexes of 0, 1, and 2. Bob moves from 3 down to 2, and Bill moves from 2 to 1. This fills the hole that duck has left in the hearts of all those who missed him. That's how it works, except it, that, that's how it works. As for set, basically we will put in, the first argument is which element, which, which element do we want to um, change? And we put the index of that. In this case, we're going to put one. So we're going to be changing bill because bill is now occupying element one, as discussed before. And we're going to be replacing bill with diddle. And to demonstrate that, I shall play the program. As you can see, guys, firstly, duck is in element one. Then we remove it. Therefore, bill will take the place. Then we set element 1 to diddle, and therefore when we've asked to print out element 1, diddle is there. Anyway guys, it's been a quick tutorial. Thanks for being a great audience. If you want to hear a video with more cool, fun array list um, fun functions and methods, be sure to leave a comment and a like requesting for it, and I shall supply the demand. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience, and we'll see you next time.